Hey everybody, this is Perch. Um, here's something that, I mean, there's an obvious answer why it disappeared, but I think it took a decent amount of, uh, some of the comic uh, community, is that the right word? Fandom? I, I, it, took, it took something away with it, or it changed it into a, a different, darker thing. Um, so what is what is this thing? Here, Here's a viewer mail asking the question that I'm sure several of you asked yourself before. What happened to the letter columns of tomorrow? It says, Dear Perch, big fan of the show, and I've been watching uh, or listening for the past year or so. When I was about 10 years old, I checked out one of those big omnibuses that contained the first 25 or so issues of Golden Age Superman. While the stories themselves were fascinating, what I remember the most was the letter columns of people giving their first reactions to what would become a worldwide icon. But when I look at modern comics, they seem to have disappeared. I mostly read physical trade paperbacks. Sometimes I pirate online just to read the uh, LCD. Uh, do you know what happened? Hmm. Uh, well, well. anyway, sorry, the mail continues. Uh, there's a PS. PS. While you may hate Arby's, check out Taco Bell once in a while. You'd be sick to your stomach and the kind of porcelain thrown for the afternoon. Yeah, you know, Taco Bell's disgusting. No, no doubt about it. I mean, Taco Bell, but I think Taco Bell kind of understands what it is, which is uh, Taco Bell is what people eat when they are stoned and nothing else is open at one in the morning. That's the purpose of Taco Bell. If you look at their advertising, if you look at the lighting, they've gone for kind of a deep indigo purple and kind of lower subdued lights that are going to work a little bit more remind you of kind of a black light like that that's what taco bell is now it's not a true black light so if you show a true black light around inside of a uh, taco bell you would get like a splatter painting kind of effect you know what i'm talking about anyway nobody wants that uh, so yeah taco bell disgusting no doubt about it but arby's arby's has not yet admitted that they are uh, basically shit food. They they're still they still are clinging on to legitimacy, and so therefore they must be destroyed. <laughs> anyway, um, to your other question about letters. So I mean, basically, what happened is that the comic companies convinced themselves that people don't write letters anymore. And of all the things that people convince themselves of that are not true, that one is fairly true. You know, people don't send letters anymore, and and the idea that a reader would pick up a comic, write a letter about it mail it in, um, you know, that there's, there's a lot less. So there still are occasional kind of letter columns, column columns, but the, the publishers don't, don't really want to do them anymore. They don't, they don't particularly like them. And in a lot of cases, the letter columns have turned kind of more gushing. What, what is interesting is if you look at the letter columns in the sixties and the seventies, or even further back, you'll see readers legit, like roast the uh, comic creators. Like this comic is shit. And, they'll, and, and the publishers would print that. And be like, well, that's just your opinion, man. It's like, that's, that's like your opinion. But, uh, but today, the letter columns tended to be a lot more like, hey, I'm a huge super fan. I can't believe this amazing things you're doing every time I think it could be better. Uh, you know, as good as it could possibly get, you somehow find a way to make it better. Oh, my God, I just want to come on over there and stroke you until there's a Taco Bell. Uh, <laughs> That's, that's so wrong. Um, that, that's, that's, so there are letter columns, but there's not many. In general, the publishers have kind of said, the, you know, where the letters go is social media. You know, people are going to post there. That's where the communications, that's where people want to, that's where people want to write it. There was always a little bit of a problem with the letters column in that it, it was always several months behind. So at times the letter pages would be kind of weird and awkward because, you know, the letters would be, from a comic that came out three or four months ago. And, uh, you know, they're just now getting printed and uh, thrown into the book. But if they were in the middle of a storyline, the comic will have moved beyond the people who are writing and going, oh my God, I can't believe that cliffhanger happened the way it did. Like, I, do you think that this is going to occur? And it's like, well, it, yeah, I mean, two, years, two issues ago, we wrapped that up, but we're just now getting around to printing your letter. So there, there is an odd part about that. Um, I, I, think, um, I think the letter column, though, was helpful. In comics, I think it, it generated a feeling of, of kind of 360, of connection back to the customers. The uh, the comic would come out, and here are some people who are actually reading it. And, and that's one reason why I think as the letter column has gotten a little bit more or a lot more just kind of gushing and, and uh, you know, stroke-worthy, uh, it's, it's less, it feels less like legitimate customers who are, you know, engaging in whatever this is. Uh, one of the things that I know used to happen in letter columns is, is people writing in would give ideas. And the comic publishers uh, used to get, or, you know, they, they got to a place where they started to feel nervous 
about the ideas that were coming in and the idea that fans would get angry because they would, you know, guess a future storyline that would happen. And they're like, well, I gave you that idea in my letter. So, I mean, there was that whole dynamic that also played out a little bit with comics. And, um, I, I, you know, I think you take the goods with the bads. I think that the reality is, you know, you're, if you have a story and, and you know what it is and you're working toward it and the fan kind of writes in with an idea that, that kind of fits, I think, you know, you, you go, well, you know, if we ever take it to court, we've got lots of evidence. The idea was coming along as a fan legitimately has a better idea. Hell, you know, use it and then write that fan and say, Hey, your idea was great. I'm going to use your idea. And, you know, I, you know, figure out the compensation if, if it comes to that later. But, but regardless, I think the letters page was interesting. There still are some letter pages in comics. They don't get uh, recreated in the omnibus of the trade paperbacks anymore, which, again, I like you. I think it creates an interesting time capsule of how people are reacting to these characters. Um, but I, I, if, I, if it was up to me, I'd, I'd definitely keep the letter page. I'd let the letter page be a little bit less filtered. I, I'm not saying you write, you know, you post mails saying, hey, this comic is a giant steaming pile of shit. Like, you don't need to put that in there. Like, that's too far. But some, you know, just some, like, I didn't care for this issue as much as I usually do. This this comic was pretty flat to me. I felt like the uh, the storyline, the arc ended poorly. Like, put, print some of that stuff. It makes it feel like, you know, it, it's, it's a true kind of give and take. And I think that feeling generates money. I think, I think people will kind of latch onto that and then they will, you know, feel like they're, they're part of the comic. And if they're invested in your comic, they're more likely to buy over time. I think all these things are connected and it's important to, to try and encourage that connection, keep that connection. If printing the letters is at this point too difficult, one thing that Marvel could do relatively easily at DC and the image and anybody else. In fact, even further, if you're black mask, aftershock, you know, if you're if you're a company like that, you're a relatively small company. On your website, let people post mails. I mean, moderate them so you don't have people just you know fucking around with you. But but just the just the moderation you want is just to weed out the kind of the illegal, truly crazy shit or you know porn spam. And otherwise, let people say what they're gonna say. You know, let mumbles come in and roast you for five years, whatever it happens to be. Just just, it's good to do that and do it on your website so you're not having to worry about the printing and the timing and all this and and create a feeling of we listen to our customers. It would take you very little effort to, to do and just say, here's what people are saying about the comics. Good, bad, and ugly. All, all of it's right here. Here's here's the, you know, here's here's what's happening. And I think if you build that up, as, as I said, as a 360 kind of an, uh, environment where you know, you, you put out a comic, the customers comment on it, you thank the customers for their attention. I mean, here's the thing. If you look back at some of those old Marvel and DC books, when customers would roast the comic, when they would say things like, this comic was super boring, I can't believe you're doing that, I don't know how you even have jobs. You know, the, the writers would write back going, yeah, we're pretty lucky to have jobs. It's, uh, sorry you didn't like this one, but, you know, we'll try harder next time. I hope we can make you happy next time. And I'm sure... I guarantee you, because I've actually, I've heard at least 15 years ago, the editors used to do this. I'm sure inside the Marvel offices, they're picking up some of these letters and be like, listen to this fucking dumbass incel. Look at this person. I'm sure that went on. I'm sure that, that the, you know, you behind the scenes, these letters come in and I'm sure there's some like, oh my God, listen, it's, it's Friday afternoon. Let's read the stupidest letters we've got. I'm sure that happens. But in public, when you put when you put him in the comic, you'd be gracious. Oh, I'm sorry you didn't like that. Well, well, you know, maybe next time we'll we'll make it work for you next time. That's that kind of connection is worth its weight in gold. It doesn't take that much work to do, and whether you believe it or not, just being gracious or giving the appearance of being gracious just goes a long way. It's it's super helpful. And again, very easy, barely an inconvenience. You could do it right now. Anyway, do you miss letters column, um, or you know, or at least what it used to be? Do you uh, do you think, hey, you know, this is some boomer talk? Let's just, why are we talking about mail anyway? Let's get rid of all this shit. Let me know in the comments below. Like and subscribe, of course. And thanks for listening.